Hi my beautiful beings! Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caitlin, and for today's video we are going to be doing like a little monthly like plans, like what are your plans for this month, what are some goals you want to accomplish this month, things like that, because today is November 1st, so I just want to do like a little like planning video, kind of like a little journal thing you guys can do. A lot of you are asking me for things that I do in my journal, and this is one of them. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so every month when I remember, it could be at the first of the month, it could be in the middle of the month, I kind of just write down what I want to accomplish this month. I've only been doing this for like two or three months. I'm going to do it every month, so I just thought maybe we should start doing videos like this every month. So I will just take my journal, whatever journal you have. I've done it in multiple different journals. This is the one I've been writing in recently though. So I just write the month and then I just start thinking about, okay, so what do I have going on this month? Remember, I always think of Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is giving thanks, giving your gratitude, what you are grateful for, things like that. I think it's a wonderful month to really celebrate what you are grateful for. And every morning I actually like write down in my to-do list. I have this to-do list in my Amazon storefront if you guys would like to see, but it has like um, what I am grateful for that day and you write it down. So I like to do that. But, but I saw something really cute on Instagram and and it's like the gratitude challenge and I saw it I don't know if you guys can see here I saw it and I thought it was really cute I thought it was really cute so like gratitude day one it's the first of the month so okay so it's like a little challenge so I'm actually gonna post this on my Instagram because I think it's super cute I'll post it every day for you guys I actually didn't explain what I meant by like like it's a challenge where you post on Instagram like something that you are grateful for that has to do with the like it's like words kindness like something that relates to that you post it but I didn't even say what I wanted to do I'm gonna put it in my journal like a journal prompt so I'm gonna put like words I'm gonna say what words make me feel like the most loved and why I'm grateful when people say those words to me or something like that so whatever the list has I'm gonna do it every day in my journal talking about why I'm grateful for those certain things if that makes sense this is really fun. Anyways, so November, let's see. But one of the things I really want to do this month is either every morning or every night, I want to write 10 things I am grateful for. I'm supposed to do this when I manifest, like all the time, but I haven't been on that type of, I haven't been on a great track. Like I just haven't been as motivated as I was a couple months ago. So I'm trying to get back into it. So yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to say 10 things. 10 things I am grateful for, write it down every day. And I want you guys to like personalize it for you. Like I don't want you guys just to copy what I'm doing. Of course you could get inspired off of my things that I want to accomplish, but also like I want you to personalize it. So one of the things that I wanna do, I want to start coconut oil pooling, like oil pooling again. Um, it's where you put, you get like a teaspoon of coconut oil and you put it in your mouth for 15 minutes every morning before you brush your teeth. You just swish it around. It's really good for your teeth, whatever. I used to do it um, last year. I did it for like months and it actually had a lot of improvement, like so many good things. So I want to start oil pooling again every morning. That's something that I just want to do. Another thing I would like to do is wake up every day before 7.30. So anytime before 7.30. Um, I've been waking up pretty late lately. But yeah, also I would like to get all my Christmas shopping done actually this month for my family. So I want to finish Christmas shopping this month. Can you believe it's almost Christmas, you guys? Number five, I would really, I write about 10 of these each month. You could write as many as you want, but I just think 10 is like the perfect number. Um, so another thing I would like to do this month is probably like minimalize more of my room because I am going to be moving soon. Still kind of iffy on like what's going on with that, but I am going to be moving. I know that for sure. So I just kind of want to minimalize my wardrobe more. Um, and I already did that. I haven't showed you guys, but I already did that. But I also want to like minimalize like the things in my room, things like that. So I want to minimalize my room. I want to be this month, like I said it last month, but I really need to get on my YouTube grind. Like I'm, I just need to get back on track. I love making videos. Like there's no excuse. The only thing is the editing, but honestly, I like to edit too because I learn. Sorry, every time I, I film by my window, I always look away from you guys. But anyways, I want to do my, like, get on that YouTube grind. 
Also with my Etsy, my Depop, like just get on like the working grind as well as my herbalism school. So I'm going to write that. So just be on my working grind pretty much. Number seven, I kind of just like want to, I really want to enjoy the present moment more. I was doing really well, but lately I haven't been. So I want to do more meditations for focusing in the present and just like enjoying what I have right now. And so, yeah, I just want to do that. And I want to just enjoy the present more, enjoy outside more. Like, the weather's finally getting cold where I live. And I, when I say cold, I mean, like, 70 degrees. But, I mean, I'm wearing a long sleeve. It's, like, 69 degrees right now. But that's cold out here for me. So, um, I want to enjoy the chilly weather. I mean, our leaves are finally turning a kind of an orange, mainly just falling off the tree. Um, but yeah, I want to enjoy the present more and do more little rituals. That's another thing. I want to do like, like not like freaking like ritual rituals, you know what I mean? But I always call my little like self-love things, like little things that I like to do that make me happy. I want to do more of those. So I want to do more little rituals things. That's going to go with enjoying the present. So like more self-love. Like I, on my Pinterest, you guys, I love this. I have like a little little hot like habits and rituals thing i love those little things i want to do more and i want to like this includes like journaling more reading more things like that things that make me happy i'm gonna actually make that a number eight because i'm gonna say do things that make me happy and like make time for it number nine i want to start cooking more it is thanksgiving so we always cook thanksgiving dinner like last year i made um green bean casserole but i want to try and make like a an oven mac and cheese like a three or a baked mac and cheese or something like that and i'll make the green bean casserole because my boyfriend likes that i want to cook cook more so i just like learn how to cook i think i said that in my goals and dreams one but anyways, and number 10, I want to learn to be more independent. I don't really like going anywhere by myself. I I kind of have trouble like spending alone time with myself. And that might be weird because I always film and like it's just you and me. But even when I film, like I feel like I'm not by myself, you know. And I figured out that I actually like don't like being by myself. And I think that's a problem. So I want to try and learn how to be more independent and just do things more on my own. Like, I even freak out when I'm home by myself. Like, I always have my boyfriend on the phone. I need to learn how to be more independent, do things by myself, go to the store by myself. Like, I dread that. Like, I don't like going to the store by myself. Um, things like that. Maybe even, like, eat somewhere alone. I don't know. We'll try it. So, I want to be more independent and do things on my own. Okay, guys, I think those are my personal goals for November. I just write it out like this, and I mean, you could do it in your journal. You can make it on a little paper and put it up somewhere in your room so that you can look at it all the time. But I just like to write it out, and every now and then I'll go look back at it, see what has been going well. Um, and then at the end of the month, I will go and look, and if something is on there that was on... If something is on there that still hasn't really worked out or become a habit or became a goal, then I will write that for the next month again. So then you might have more than 10 or something like that. I couldn't find my October one, so that kind of sucks. But <laughs> I think some of them came pretty true. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. So I'm going to try and keep better track of it. So yeah, I think this will be a good place to put it. And I'm just going to do that. And I mean, you guys could do any types of goals. These are my, like, personal for this month. You can also do, like, goals for, like, the gym or goals for your eating habits or goals for maybe drinking more water, things like that. You could do anything that you would like. This is just what I do, and I thought it'd be fun since it is November 1st, and it's a Monday, so it's like a day to post, so I just thought that was a little cute thing to do. But yeah, I hope that you guys maybe got inspired to do this as well. Maybe you sat down and wrote these with me, and if not, maybe go ahead and do it right now. Listen to some music or meditate. I don't know, just I think it's good to do this so that you kind of have your month like planned out on what you want to do. But happy November 1st. I hope you guys have an amazing November, an amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving and you eat yummy food my god i hope that you guys are enjoying the weather i know it is getting darker sooner and it is more gloomy make sure you guys are taking some vitamin d supplements i think they'll be really good for you guys since the sun is not summer it's not summer so the sun's not out as much remember if you're watching this today when i post this it is november 1st so the veil between the spirit world is still pretty much non-existent so just keep the high vibes up keep your raising your vibration as you should like always 
and it's going to be like that till tomorrow so just keep your vibes up so that is the end of today's quick little video I hope you guys did it as well and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in this world. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And go ahead and click that little notification bell so you guys know every time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys would like, go ahead and check out everything on the sides right here. My Instagram, my Etsy, my Depop, my Amazon storefront, all those good things. So go ahead and check all those out. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.